and Texans are split on school choice. And in just a few hours, we are going to see supporters of the idea rallying at the state capitol. But how some want to pay for school choice is really upsetting to some critics about what it would mean for public schools. Kate is live over at the state capitol to break it all down for us. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, both the governor and lieutenant governor are going to be here at the state capitol this morning talking about expanding school choice. Essentially what they want to do is create a private school choice program. Now this is similar legislation to what lieutenant governor Dan Patrick pushed for during the last legislative session, but after passing in the Senate, it didn't get anywhere in the House. Critics argued it would take tax dollars away from public schools and into private ones. So this year, there's a new proposal creating an education savings account. Under this program, the state would give taxpayer money directly to parents through a debit card to cover approved education expenses like private school tuition or homeschooling materials. Opponents of the plan say there's no accountability for how that money would truly be spent, but supporters say it's all about giving parents more options. We know that when parents have educational choice, not only does parental satisfaction increase, but academic outcomes increase as well. And not just for students who are enrolled in a private school choice program, but academic outcomes improve for all students. But the moment you're taking away, you know, the public dollars and public resources that benefit the entire community, um, you know, that's when we really start impacting not just your individual children, but the entire community. And the whole purpose of having a quality public school system is to ensure that we have a collective good of the entire community community. And today's rally begins at 10 o'clock this morning on the south steps of the state capitol. Organizers tell us they are expecting about 4,000 people to show up. Sally, back to you. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the education savings account. This is a bill that we expect to be filed later on this week. And here's how it works in case you're wondering. How is this year different? Well, right now, property tax dollars go directly to public school districts. But if this idea becomes law, parents would be given $5,000. They could use it for private charter, other schools that they want their children to attend. Five states have already adopted this plan. According to the San Antonio Express News, the state's proposal would be similar to the one that they see in Nevada. That program gives parents the option to use the money on tutors, SAT, prep courses, home, private schooling, and other education options. Now, Austin ISD will have its own rally later on this morning at Anderson High School. Superintendent Paul Cruz tells us AISD wants to celebrate the option parents have and this important distinction here within the district. We have schools that focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. We have schools that focus on students earning college credit with our three early college high schools. We have single gender schools. We have fine arts academies. We have so many different opportunities for our students and their families. Parents have until the end of the month to request a transfer to another AISD school, but some schools are off limits because of overcrowding. We have the details on the requirements to request a transfer right now at KXAN.com. And right now, Texas has an alternative to school choice. There is a growing number of public charter schools. No tuition, but there is an application process to go through. Some charter schools have specific focuses, including college preparedness or dropout prevention and recovery.